a city steeped in history, a buzzing metropolis, and a green oasis all rolled into one. Philly's landscape is as diverse as its people, and the many things to see and do extend well beyond the obvious. It's a city full of surprises that will take you through from day to night. And my quest to uncover the hidden gems of the city begins on water. Yes, did you know that Philly is totally awesome at rowing? In fact, with its scenic location along the Schuylkill River and its historic boathouse row, Philadelphia hosts more regattas and boat races than any other city in the nation. And I'm joining the women's varsity team at Drexel University to try it out for myself. Philadelphia is the birthplace of American rowing. The birthplace of America as a whole, pretty much, but yeah. The best way to see a city from afar is to get on the water. If you wanted to try out rowing yourself, there's a number of the boathouses that provide learn the row experiences. Visitors need to come down, get out of the city, grab a bike, take a walk. Or go for a row. Are you ready? I have actually never rowed. I'm just following your lead. This is like being part of a marching band without ever having learned any of the music. Overhead, ready up. Yep. Toes to the edge. Roll two ways. Ready, roll. Push it out and in. Well, that was a team effort, really. It was you guys were the team, and I was just trying not to fall in the river. Legs, back, and arms. And then up. Excellent. Well, it's a great way to see the skyline, all the historical buildings, all of the parks. The cherry blossoms. It really gives you a unique perspective and a whole new appreciation for the history of the city. I'm very good at talking and running at the same time. I apologize, team. And as the Philadelphia Museum of Art comes into view, it serves as a reminder of the city's position as a cultural hotspot. But to discover some of the city's most impressive art, you need to head out onto the street. Thanks to Mural Arts Philadelphia, who employ around 250 artists annually, the city has over 4,000 outdoor murals, earning it the reputation of mural capital of the world. So taking one of the many guided mural tours on offer to the public is a great way to explore this outdoor art gallery. And here to give me a very special tour is muralist Eric Oakday. And the first stop is one of his very own artworks. Wow, you're the artist who created this? I am. Every mural in the city tells a story, and, and this project in particular tells a story about the bandstand era musicians in Philly. Pretty cool, man. Tell me about the artists who create these murals. Uh, the artists come from all different parts of the city, uh, all different parts of the country and the world now, but it's a huge, diverse cross-section of people. Wow, look at that, the roots. In today's age, most people probably know them as being the house band on The Tonight Show, but I know that they have a lot more history than that. They do, they're a local band, they're from Philly. In fact, a few blocks away was the high school that they got their start from. All these murals are just amazing. They're so vibrant, they add such color and light. This is called Industrious Light. Philadelphia used to be a major industrial hub for the country, so these murals are a way to bring identity back to these buildings. So are you the artist responsible for what's going on this wall right here? Yes, I am. Uh, this is a mural dedicated to the Philadelphia 76ers. We got five basketball legends going on that wall. Oh, so you basically you roll on the glue and then you roll it up on the wall. Exactly, that's exactly what it is. So if you need any help. It'd be great, man. I'd love to have you uh, give us a hand. Yeah, definitely. And as day turns into night, you might be surprised to hear that the Science Museum is where it's at. So I'm meeting up with the Franklin Institute's chief astronomer, Derek Pitts, to find out more. Science After Hours is this really great program we have for our over 21 audience. Hence the beers. Yeah, hence the beers, in which we show them what the museum is like after dark. This is a really great alternative to, you know, the regular after hours activities that people do, like going to bars, going to clubs, going to restaurants, things like that. Well, I'm lucky to have you as my tour guide, so uh, take me around. Let's have a good time. What is this thing, Derek? This is what we call the neural net climb. It's as if we're electrical impulses traveling around through the neurons in the brain. How you doing, George? I'm good. It looks like awkward, but it's you know it's just all part of the uh, of the move. Ah. Whew. Congratulations. Thank you. You made it through. I did it. Wow. So what's this place? George, this is the Franklin Institute's Bloom Observatory, and we have a really great telescope here 
that lets us look at the moon, some stars, some really great planets, all those things that we can see right here in a center city environment. So this is Sirius, the brightest star in the northern sky. Not very far away from us, only eight light years. It's funny, but you, you see twinkle, twinkle little star, I mean, yeah. it's really twinkling. Now you can really see the twinkle, right? I can see right? the twinkle. Wow, Derek, what a unique, educational, and most importantly, fun way to spend the night out in Philly. I can't think of a bar that has a telescope. This is the only one. It's an astronomical experience. Huh. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. So there you have it. Be it water, land, or sky, there's a whole other side of Philly waiting to be discovered.